Hey, everybody. My name is Legendary Buck. As for now, uh, I am going to show you guys how to fish the issues of Ark Survival Involved game with Battle Eye. Okay, the Battle Eye uh, service and the pro the program itself. Okay. All right. When you talk, uh, this is about having a hard time installing Battle Eye. Uh, like when you go on Steam and you install Battle Eye, and it end up doing nothing. All right. And that's pretty pretty frustrating that you go wasting your time with a bullshit issue of doing research and fucking finding useless answers and everything and you've tried everything, alright? I don't want to alarm you guys, but don't be alarmed that if the game is not working or it's not being installed properly, doesn't mean something wrong with your computer or something wrong with the Windows 10 operating system because it's, that is not true. That, that is nothing wrong. That has nothing to do with your uh, Windows 10 operating system or your computer or the change you made in the setting or whatever you did has nothing to do with it because it's all pinpoint to the game on Ark Survival Involved. All pinpoint on the service and the privacy setting of the Ark Survival Evolve. Alright, I'm, right, I'm going to show you how to install this properly and... Alright, let's just say you got a brand new computer, alright? Or we install Windows 10, Fresh Start, or whatever you did, alright? And let's just say you're going to install Steam, right? Alright. Anything you... Oh, God. Really? Alright, uh, whatever you do, you install, okay, you just install Steam like you're all pumped and ready, excited to play that game, right? You're all excited and pumped, right? And you just install Steam, right? Alright, uh, you just come out with your hard drive or whatever you think that is, that's nothing true, you know, that, that has nothing to do with it, alright? That doesn't matter, because I have literally done everything, I have done Everything in my power to figure it out what's wrong, and I finally figure it out. All right, so you doesn't matter where you gotta be installed. So I uh, click on this PC and local disk. Well, it's just leaving like this, and just doesn't matter. All right, just click install. You know, you, you just just install a program like you normally install on, on local disk. All right, you you want Steam? You just want Steam, whatever you do. Well, that's gonna take a while. Hey, everybody. My name is Legendary Buck. As for now, uh, I am going to show you guys how to fish the issues of Ark Survival Involved game with Battle Eye. Okay, the Battle Eye. Uh, service and the pro the program itself. Okay, all right. When you talk, uh, this is about having a hard time installing Battle Eye. Uh, like when you go on Steam and you install Battle Eye, and it end up doing nothing. All right, and that's pretty pretty frustrating that you go wasting. Your I don't want to alarm you guys, but don't be alarmed that if the game is not working or it's not being installed properly doesn't mean something wrong with your computer or something wrong all right i'm going to show you how to install this properly and all right let's just say you got a brand new computer all right or we install windows 10 fresh start or whatever you did all right and let's just say you're going to install steam right all right anything you oh god Really? Alright, whatever you do, you install, okay, you just install Steam like you're all pumped and ready, excited to play that game, right? You're all excited and pumped, right? And you just install Steam, right? Alright, you just save or whatever. Alright, uh, it's installed. Open. 
It doesn't matter it has to be one has Amnes Mister or it doesn't matter either one because it, 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 I mean you just click open. You know, you just click Nash English and pick it. You can pick whatever the hard drive you want it to be installed, alright? This does not matter what kind of hard drive it has to be installed, including ARC, because if you guys think that this causing a problem because it's not being installed on the right drive, or you think something wrong with your hard drive, or whatever you think that is, that's nothing true.